Okay, so KG of chapter 2 is bonkers. Director Prashant Neel and his team of expert craftsmen have assimilated and executed a true cinematic spectacle. Or should I say, monstrosity. It doesn't just live up to expectations, but unbashedly surpasses them. The makers of the film did mention during Chapter 1 interviews that the world of KGF is way bigger, bloodier, and more berserk than you anticipate. They were absolutely right. The exploration of the KGF empire and its dark secrets is what we witness in Chapter 2. The story begins with a cliffhanger of KGF Chapter 1 and leaves you emotionally outraged. In a good way, of course. We once again get to see Prashant Neel's stylistic storytelling with the use of cross-cuts between different scenes to heighten the stakes and make you not just watch a scene, but feel it. The third film of Prashant Neel is once again woven by creative virtuosos like Ravi Vasroor, Puvan Gora, and Shiv Kumar. But this time, we have a new addition to the team who has genuinely, in my humble opinion, done a fantastic job with the editing. His name is Ujwal Kulkarni who, by the way, is just 19 years old. When it comes to the story itself, the relationship between Rocky and his mother and how the strength of that bond serves as the emotional motivation for Rocky to become the richest person in the world gets unfolded for the audience. Archana Joyce deserves immense credit for her significance in the film. Yash is bleeding with swag, Sanjadad is back with the persona of a true Khalnayak, and this is the second time after Satta that we get to see Ravina Tandon in such a similarly strong character. Visually, this film is stunning to say the least. The dust, the fire, the sand, the black and gold chrome palette adds so much more life and contrast. That entire portion of the relationship between Reena and Rocky has been handled very safely because Prashant Neel himself confessed that he's not very good with romance. But the question that I had was why is she revolting against Rocky? I mean, if I remember correctly, she was eventually in love with him in chapter 1, right? But yes, apart from this, I think the film was definitely worth the wait. The makers of KG of chapter 2 have also clearly established the fact that there is a big difference between getting inspired and copying something frame by frame. You will notice a lot of inspirations, but nothing looks copied, according to me. KG of chapter 2 is more than just a mass movie. It is another great example of how to enlarge the scope of storytelling, yet keeping the element of realism intact. It is a new cinematic achievement in the history of Indian cinema. This year and the years to come are surely going to be special in terms of theatrical experiences.